Hi, this is Sohrab and in this video I'm going to show you how to animate text tracking or a space between characters in the Premiere Pro without any plugins. In the effect controls panel in the text options, there is a tracking controller which controls the space between the characters. But the problem is when we active the stopwatch for the keyframing and we go some frame forward and change the value of tracking, Premiere Pro doesn't calculate the amount between these two keyframes and in the playback it shows as a jump between one to the other. And honestly, there is no control over this in Premiere Pro. But we can make it with some special technique. Select your text clip and in the effect control, active the stopwatch for the source text. With arrow key, we go one frame forward and change the tracking amount to the 20. And we going on with that key one frame further and again we add 20 units to the space value. We are going to add this 20 amount for 15 frames which make us to 300 at the end, which is fine for us. If we just play it now, the motion is fast and linear. Now we can make it better with a slow motion. Now we have to right click on the text clip and change it to the nest. From there, again with right click we choose speed duration and we reduce the speed to 40% and change the time interpolation to optical flow. Now we need to render it to see the result, but still it is not slow enough and it is not smooth enough. So we are going to reduce the speed to 10%. Although we have much better movement, but there is a problem happen in the edge of the text. And this is because of the optical flow algorithm. In order to fix it, we have to go to effect panel in the video effects in the obsolete group we are going to choose blend effect and we will add it to the nested clip now the problem is solved we just have to render it to see the result now we have a very smooth and fine movement and now we don't have any limitation we can change the speed down even to five percent we can add a very beautiful background and finally we can have a very nice and cinematic title hope you find it useful and if you like to know how i create the color for the background you can check the video about change the day to night in the premiere pro and thank you for watching